I'm going to talk about my experiments with the truth. On my journey of yogification or involution, I chose Satya as a young principle in Raj Yoga that I thought I wanted to experience in my life. First, I thought, uh, at first thought, I thought um, it would be an easy path since I do not have to do anything different. I do not lie. I do not cheat. I do not think too much before I speak, so I thought this would be an easier, easier and doable path. When I started walking the path with an awareness, I started noticing nuances of the yogification process. Walking the path meant I follow the satya in my speech, action, and thoughts. Now, following this path in speech was relatively easier. I speak truth, I speak truth, I do not lie. What I speak is based on the information I have available. I felt good getting started. It was happy me. Now following this path in action was slightly difficult. Truth in action meant I walk the talk. This actually made me correct my talk rather than my walk. This was an interesting observation and I started thinking how the speech and action are interrelated. Now, when I talk, I consider the implications on me. If I have to follow through via action or implications on the person I'm talking with, if they have to follow an action based on that speech. One thing that became clear is I do not gossip or specifically I declare that what I say is a is a pure hypothetical situation and any correlation with the person or action would be a pure coincidence. I'm still pondering, how do I adjust the sarcasm in speech? Yeah, with the healthy and the positive, with the positive intention. You can see my seemingly easier path started getting more interesting. Okay, I mean to say complicated. All right, now when it comes to the satya in thoughts, the story got even more interesting. I'm consciously watching my thoughts, making sure my random thoughts have a basis in facts. I relate them to the information I have, the information I do not have, but I thought I had. One example to quote here is, I was not happy with a person whose behavior was at times irritating. My thoughts were calling this person irresponsible or lazy or whatnot. However, there was other side of the brain that was telling me you cannot make judgments based on limited information. This is not Satya in thought. So where I landed is I stay away from judgments for others as well as for myself. I'm not able to apply Satya in thoughts all the time. However, the fact that now, now I'm aware of the conflicts make me feel more empowered. So my exploration of Satya in my daily life continues. I'm aware of what I say, what I not say, but think, and also of my actions. Having positive and Satya in thoughts is one thing, but following it in action requires a higher level of awareness and ability to control deviations of mind. Yes, Yog, Chit, Prati, Nirod. Thank you.